Braddock Knights. Who said it was going to be beastly hot? This isn't bad, especially if we get that little breeze coming back. Hopefully we'll get it again. Uh, but this is pretty good for whatever they forecast. Now I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. You will not be disappointed, I know that. Got a couple of things we need to do first. We need to thank a few people, starting with the park uh, manager, Julie Tahan, and her whole staff. They make us feel really welcome on Friday nights in the summer. And any time you come here, they'll make you feel welcome. Now, we've got a couple of golf carts that'll help you get back to your car afterwards if you need to. Nick is driving one over there. Nick is in charge of Braddock Nights. His goal is to become king of Braddock Nights. He's working on that. He's up to Viscount right now. I'm not sure what's the next step in the process, but if he keeps good, good work, he'll be king by the last concert. So, uh, if you want to you ride back to your car afterwards, just see Nick over here. We'll hopefully, we'll have another golf cart doing it too. Now, the great thing about these concerts, other than the setting and the sunset, is the price. You don't have to pay a thing for this. Now, of course, there's no free lunch, but we got somebody else picking up the tab for this. There's a, a number of uh, companies around here that do that for us. And I would like to have Supervisor John Cook come up and talk about that. He's the one who helps get the money from him to put on these great shows. So John, come on up. Thank you, and, uh, thank you all for coming out. It is a beautiful night. Don't think about air conditioning, things like that. Highly overrated. We, uh, <laughs> we uh, this past Tuesday had our transportation committee meeting. We discuss snow plowing uh, policy so we could, you know, pretend it was cooler. So just think snow uh, and uh, just remember back when the big snow hit in January and we were all saying, gee, I wish the snow would go away. Well, this is what we get. So uh, thank you all for being here. And Jim is right. Uh, we uh, are very fortunate that we have corporate sponsors that, uh, that uh, uh, put on the series. And um, I will read them to you. They are on the back of these priceless t-shirts that you'll notice only Jim and I have these shirts because you cannot buy them in stores uh, you only get them if you uh, either give money or you're really nice to Jim and you win an award so uh, but they've got the sponsors on the back it's the uh, Park Authority the Park Foundation Fairfax County Fairfax Memorial Cox Interstate Moving and Relocation Dominion and the 495 Express Lane so let's give a round of applause for them. Spirit moves you, you too can be a sponsor of Braddock Nights. Uh, you just uh, write a check to the Park Foundation and you give it to Jim or you drop it in my office or you drop it in the mail. And if the che check is big enough, you get your name on the back of the shirt. So uh, you know, just be thinking about that. So thank you for coming out. Thank you, John. And if you do business with any of our sponsors, please thank them for what they do. We really do appreciate it. Now, I handed out surveys to a couple of folks earlier tonight. Appreciate it if you give them back to me later on just so we can get feedback on what happens here. The survey is different than the, than the cards that Gail Hoover is handing out. That's about the Lake Accutink Master Plan Revision, and we would love your input on that, too. Now, uh, as John said, you can join the Friends of Braddock Knights and maybe get one of these t-shirts. I'm giving away four of them tonight. And this is why there's a uh, gentleman back here. Uh, he's kept, came all the way from Fort Washington, Maryland. He came here and hiked around the lake for a couple hours first. So he's getting a t-shirt. Young man over here wearing an Appalachian Trail shirt. We're gonna give him a Braddock Knights t-shirt. Let's see, there's a, a young father over here carried up six chairs for the family. So he's getting a t-shirt, he really deserves it. And a uh, young lady back here with a friend who has a Braddock Knights t-shirt. And I could see a little bit of, uh, let's say, envy in her eyes. And we don't want to start problems among friends, so she's getting one too. Now we do have a couple of people here wearing the Braddock Knights t-shirts, so will the best dressed people in the, in the crowd stand up for just a moment? We got a, a red one, a dark green, and a purple wear. Okay. And wear them when you go to other concerts too, folks. 
Now, we got uh, Aaron and Jasmine back here from American Audio and Visual. They're going to make sure the band sounds really good tonight. And the band is the Jeff Little Trio. They're going to play some bluegrass for us. And if you like it, there's CDs that are for sale back there. And I know not many of you people came to hear me tonight, so fellas, do your thing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, it's great to be here. We appreciate everybody coming out on such a, a beautiful night. It's a bit warm, but we really appreciate everybody being here. Uh, my name is Jeff Little. I'm a piano player from Boone, North Carolina, up in the mountains of North Carolina is where I come from. And uh, uh, a lot of people, the genre we play, they say bluegrass sometimes, but me being a piano player, we're not truly bluegrass. We just play traditional music kind of from where we're from. That's kind of what we do, a little bit of everything. And uh, we travel around, we played everywhere. We like to tell folks we played everywhere from the Smithsonian to the Boone Volunteer Fire Department. That's kind of like our realm of what we do. So, uh, over here on the acoustic guitar tonight, let me introduce the guys before we get started. He's one of the best flat pickers in the country and also a two-time national champion on the five-string banjo from Todd, North Carolina. Mr. Steve Lewis on the acoustic guitar. Here, right? <laughs> Back on the upright bass is one of the best acoustic bass players you'll hear anywhere. He's from Fleetwood, North Carolina. Mr. Josh Scott on the upright bass. Show. <laughs> Well, we do all sorts of traditional music, but this is one we like to start our concerts with to kind of get uh, get warmed up a little bit. This is actually an old Django Reinhardt Stephen Grappelli song, at least our version of it. This tune's called Minor Swing. One, two, three, four. Thank you. 
And we greatly appreciate that, y'all. And uh, I'd like to do an old tune right here. I'm from, mentioned I'm from Western North Carolina. And even though I'm a piano player, my influences were really a lot of acoustic guitar players and from everything from bluegrass to acoustic blues. And one of my biggest influences, I had the great blessing of playing music with a guitarist named Doc Watson for many, many years. And, and Doc and I played a lot together. And uh, so I'd like to do an old tune I used to do with Doc right here. This is an old tune that's been done by blues, bluegrass bands, every kind of band you can imagine. It goes something like this. fancier place like the Smithsonian or the American Folk Festival, which we're doing in a few weeks, ask me and Steve if we always wear our baseball caps. And the answer is actually yes, except when we play those fancier places, these aren't baseball caps. These are actually Carolina toupees. <laughs> and uh, we need these pretty bad, actually. But anyhow, coming from Western North Carolina, uh, even though I'm a piano player, I was influenced by a lot of acoustic instruments. And one of the things that goes on in that part of the country a lot, there's a lot of great fiddlers and mandolin players and stuff. So. Right now I'm going to do a little fiddle tune for you on the piano that I kind of picked up from those kind of folks. And uh, This is uh, kind of like one of the most famous fiddle songs, but you don't hear it too often on the piano. This is one called the Orange Blossom Special. Those are just a few Ray Charles licks to get a little warm up. That's all. <laughs>
you all so much. Thank you. Well, I'd like to feature Steve on a song right here, mostly because I'm wore out. I've already heard what a great guitarist Steve is, and uh, um, when he's not out playing guitar, um, he has a lot of students that are actually going on to be great musicians themselves. He teaches guitar, and one of the cool things that he does in Western North Carolina, one of the public school systems there, uh, actually the high school where Steve is, Steve goes in and teaches all sorts of classes in traditional music, no matter what type of music, blues or bluegrass. And I think that's cool for a public school to do that for their students there. That's what Steve does down there. But uh, he's going to do a style of playing that you don't hear too often. Uh, he plays with a flat pick as opposed to the thumb and finger, although he can do that too. And this is a style called cross picking. And it's a very intricate style of guitar playing where you go back and forth between the strings. And, uh, so we're going to feature Mr. Steve Lewis on this one. This one's called Angeline the Baker. special guest with us tonight so we're going to get him up here after this next song if he wants to be getting his mandolin ready back there. Uh, one of the things uh, playing the piano all the time you learn all sorts of styles. One of the styles is just that great old traditional kind of piano that was used in all that country music. They kind of call that a hammer style where you hit one more one note right beside the next note you're supposed to play. famous songs uh, that, that came from that era and it goes something like this.
Well, this summer, uh, while we're out working on the road and doing that sort of thing, we have a great merch man out on the road with us, and uh, he started playing the mandolin about seven or eight months ago, so he's just getting started, but uh, he's also just uh, back at the CD table back there, but let's get him up here with the mandolin. Please welcome my son, Mr. Luke Little. Come on up. So anyhow, Luke has uh, been playing the mandolin for just a few months, but we figure he's got to get started sometime, right? So, uh, so here he is, and uh, play a little bit in that mic, Luke. Play a little bit louder, see if they can get out. There we go. There's a little bit of it. So uh, he's been uh, he's been a great merch person this summer too, so we appreciate that. We're gonna hate when he has to go back to school. We hate that. So, so uh, Luke, why don't you? This is an old standard tune that was uh, first done with the thumb pick guitar. Luke, play a little freight train. That'd be like that. here so uh, we're going to do one more and then let him get back to the CD table. The reason we also like for him to play because he's sitting at the CD table. We don't pay attention to that but anyhow uh, this is an old Bill Monroe tune I think and it's really a pretty hard tune so uh, but Luke says might as well just start at the top see how hard this is. And, uh, this is an old uh, fiddle tune right here because I'm sure when y'all were driving to this show to the night, you were thinking to yourselves, if I don't get to hear anything else, I sure hope I get to hear some Bill Monroe on the piano. I'm sure that was at the top of your list. It's like not an everyday occurrence. This is a great old tune called Jerusalem Reed. 